What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the hottest fad since the fidget spinner. No. Uh, this show is hotter than a billy goat in a pepper patch. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, this show is uh, hotter than two hamsters farting in a wool sock. No, because it'd be, it'd be warm. Thanks for joining us today at The Overflow Show. I am Wyatt. And I'm sick of COVID. Her name's Miriam. And I really don't like how COVID has affected all aspects of our lives. That's true, that's true. Masks are required, theaters are shut down, and my occasional viewing of uh, sports on TV has taken a massive hit. Exactly. So we thought we'd bring you some sports entertainment today. We've asked some of our incoming sixth graders to compete in a friendly sand volleyball game against some of our overflow alumni. This is a segment that we call two division one sand volleyball players against sixth graders. Place your bets on who's gonna win. Embarrassing. How embarrassing. But moving on. Everybody needs some good insight on life from uh, other people. Which is why we asked Wyatt to sit down with one of the brightest guys this side of the sun, Ty Jones. Not him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> please enjoy our newest segment, Talking with Ty. Ty, tell me a story. I flooded the toilet one day at school. Like with your poop? Ty, drop a truth bomb. Tacos Tuesdays? No. Tacos every day? Yeah. That'd be great. Ty, what is something that you've learned? something soothing on the piano? So you've heard us say this before, but we love our volunteers. They're gifted, talented, and really, really good sports when we ask them to do really dumb things. Like dancing all over Bernie, doing impossible tasks. The list could go on and on, but we want to hit pause today to thank one of our greatest volunteers who just left Overflow to serve in other areas of ministry. And before I thank them, we ask some of you to thank them first. Check out these videos. Good luck in Houston, Miriam. You're going to be the best teacher ever. You're going to have the cutest classroom. I just know it. Thank you for being the big sister I never had. I'm going to miss you so much. Hi, Miriam. Surprise. <laughs> Before you head off to your next great adventure, I just want to say thank you. Thanks for being an amazing teacher and most of all friend. In my lows this year, I have many. Um, <laughs> you would always be there for me whenever I needed you. And you would tell me about God, and I'll forever be grateful for that. Um, I just wanted to tell the viewers, if anyone's watching, I don't know if this is going to overflow show or not, or the, if this is just for you. Um, Miriam is the person who is like sunshine on a cloudy day. 
She represents sunshine. She's the light in the, this world that we need. Um, she's the person to tell you what you need to hear instead of what you want to hear. And most of all, she's the person to go out of her way and love you, no matter what. Ariane, saw me. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I'm so blessed to be living in the same time as you. Of all the generations and decades, God bless me in this moment. So deep. I love you, and you're going to change so many lives of others. Okay. I guess this is goodbye. I don't know. I'm kind of sad. I'm never talking to you ever again. is going to change the world. Bye, Papa Smurf. Miriam, here's the deal. Is that when the news broke that you were going to be moving and you were going to go off to Houston and do your little school teaching thing, I knew I was going to have to tell the kids. So I sat them down and I told them. Arlie's reaction was something like this with tears in her eyes. She said, Mom, she said, I know, baby. Miriam is moving. And she said, Mom. No! She's my babysitter! She was genuinely upset. Why would she be upset? Well, it's because, Miriam, in short, you rock. You are kind, you are funny, you are loud at appropriate times, you're fantastic, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we want you to know that you are valued and that we are so excited about the folks in Houston, wherever in Houston you're moving, because we know they're gonna get a rock star. So, Miriam, Whoop whoop, good on ya. Man, way to go adulting. Um, good luck to you, we pray for you. Here we are. <laughs> you know, I know I give you a really hard time when I say I'm gonna have a Miriam's Gone party after you leave, but in all honesty, very much gonna miss you. Um, you really have become my sister. Uh, that I never had, and uh, it's uh, one of my best friends. So, of course, none of that's going to change just because you're three hours away. But I um, just want to let you know, you mean the absolute world to me. Um, and I am extraordinarily proud of you. And all the ways that you've grown over the past year, that you've been here with me and all of our friends. And so we're going to miss you. We're going to be able, I'm going to miss, you know, you coming over and us just working on stuff and having long conversations. All the times that I win in every game that we play. <laughs> of course, I'll have to come up and beat you at games in your own home now. Um, but I'm proud of you. I love you. And you're going to do absolutely amazing. So I'm not going to lie. Uh, whenever I first met Miriam, I thought she was loud and rowdy, to say it kindly. Uh, but man, I am so glad you have so many more redeeming qualities. Um, because if not, we could not have been friends. <laughs> Wait, you were judging me? Oh yeah, I sure was. <laughs> really rude, but okay. <laughs> but very true. And this week, uh, Overflow is going to have a conversation about offering quick judgments and exploring what the Bible has to say about just that. And I really hope you learn something because I'm not going to be around to make sure that you do. I doubt I will, <laughs> but we'll catch you all next time. Aww. Boom. That's kind of one take-ish. Yeah. That really was that kind of one take-ish. That was good. You should close the thing to one. No!